let's create rdd what is rdd and how to create rdd and how many ways we can create rdd so rdd means resilient distributed data set like database will create a tables so here we'll create rdd it is a programming language so i'm going to create rdd any name you can you can take ravi rdd so one is a spark context you can use parallelize method and input is array so python list so this is one method which you can go and create rtd and you can verify type of the object using a python function you can verify type of the object it is pi spark rtd even you can use spark session dot spark context so even you can use spark session dot spark context so that this is another way which you can create rtd it is rtd so on top of rdd you can apply two operations transformations actions if you are going to display the data if you are going to print the data or display the data or save the data that we will call it as actions if you are going to change anything like changing metadata changing data like nothing but in database we will call it as a data definition language data manipulation language so changing structure changing data data and metadata data manipulation data definition so that you can treat as a transformation here when it comes to data retrieval language drl retrieving existing data that is printing data or displaying data or saving data we will call it as actions we will call it as actions transformations means changing changing so whenever you trigger action then job will be triggered if you, whenever you apply transformation transformations are lazy transformations are lazy here you look at this you can go with the n number of transformation every transformation it will return new rdd because your rdd is immutable your rdd means resilient distributed data set resilient means self recovery if any issues are there internally it can fix internally that is called resilient lazy execution your transformations are lazy evaluated or executed means whenever you apply transformation your rdd is immutable immutable means unedible so whenever you apply transformation it will return another rdd so rdd1 rdd2 rdd3 rdd4 but all are lazy only metadata lineage will be created and the dag will be manage that directed a cyclic graph once you run an action then only it will run this action, all this backend metadata then it will return a value until then those are lazy executed those are lazy executed it's like trying the best example is trying if you take any trying as an example here your train engine is action if there is an action then only this passengers will move from source to destination until then they are lazy they cannot move themselves from source to destination consider you are traveling from bangalore to hyderabad if train engine is not there those are lazy lazy means they are not evaluated i can say they are not moved from source to destination they'll move source to destination only with the help of engine engine is the trigger point nothing but action engine is the trigger point so similarly when it comes to here spark your transformations are like where passenger will be there passenger bogies so those will send to the destination only there is an action so if you do the action then only they will send to the destination nothing but those are lazy executed lazy evaluated whenever you use action then only it will display the data so let's talk about a few transformations we'll understand that okay so i created rdd let's go with some some more values you can create rdd using a range function as well i'll go with a range of 15 so if you want to display the data so collect is one of the action it will display the data whenever you run a action this will be executed and the job back end job will be executed job divides into stages stages divides into task by default 
by default whenever you go with the parallelize method it will create eight parallel processes nothing but eight partitions if you're looking for partition wise data use a gloom function okay by default when it comes to parallelize method default eight but when it comes to here default it is going with a four default it is going with a four and the second argument which you can specify consider i want six parallel processes now if you go and verify it will it will create a six one two three four five six okay now even i can go with the eight parallel processes eight parallel processes one two three four five six seven eight so what will happen in back end i'll tell you that the job divides into stages stages divides into task eight task will be submitted on worker node job is nothing but a piece of code maybe reading data or writing data so we are reading data and displaying here this is one job job divides into stages so that depends on operation it can go with one stage or more than one stage more than one stage so more than one stores depends on operations that we will call it as a narrow transformation wide transformation i'll give you the example as well what is a narrow transformation what is wide transformation i'll give you the example job divides into stages stages divides into task always task depends on number of partitions if eight partitions are there it will submit eight task if you have a four partitions it will submit as four task you can see this four task you can go to the view you can verify this job job divided into stages the stage description you can find the link click on that link it will be routed to task information how many tasks it is submitted where it is submitted which node it is submitted always python start indexes with a zero task zero task one task two task three four task which node it is submitted this is the node this is the node worker node driver node is different worker node is different okay if you go to the environment you can find information about your uh, complete information like tax and other information you can find here okay now so here it, it is about a driver ip uh, container private ip instance ip multiple like cloud level information you can find this now if you go to the executors so here one driver node one worker node is available you see driver node ip worker node ip so driver node where your job is submitted in driver node where the task will be submitted here task will be submitted on worker node if you go to the job jobs to stages stages to task your task will be submitted on you see this this is a worker node let me help you to understand more in detail level okay so whenever you submit a code through the developer developer through notebook right code will be submitted in a master node or driver node that is called job in driver job divides into stages the stages may be one stage means narrow transformation more than one stage means wide transformation i'll tell you that stages divides into task stages divides into task the task always depends on partitions one task one partition means one task if you have one partition one task if you have 10 partitions it will submit as 10 tasks so those tasks will be submitted on worker node to process your data so your data will divide into multiple partitions that data is going to process on worker node mean one task you need one virtual cpu vcpu this is if you are submitting a four task right nothing but four partitions will be submitted as four tasks from driver driver means job job to stages stages to task task depends on number of partitions four partition means four task your executor will have a available slots slot is nothing but available 
vcpu virtual cpu nothing but thread so the, here two available vcpus two slots are available two slots are available two slots are available two slots are available so in this you can go and submit your task so that slot is occupied with a task this slot is occupied with a task this slot is occupied with a task so this slot is not occupied it is available for a task this slot is not occupied available for a task available for a task slot is occupied with a task slot is occupied with a task a simple way to understand consider you are a team lead you are having okay you are having a, a 10 tasks okay or maybe five task you are a team lead you are a team lead you are having a five task to complete so you are having a eight developers eight developers just i'm giving a simple example so five tasks you assign for five developers so developer one you assign developer two assign developer three you assign developer four you assign developer five assign so five tasks you assign to five developers remaining three developers are free developer six seven eight developers are free free means they are available for work slot is availability slot is available for a task execution so wherever you see the task that task is occupied so the slot is occupied with a task so this is about internal terminology this is about internal terminology on driver node worker node driver node your job will be submitted job divides into stages stages divides into task your task is going to submit on worker node every worker node will have a vcpus nothing but available slots vcpus means available slots let me explain with a here we are having a two nodes right we are having two nodes one driver node one worker node uh, so we went for two maximum but available one worker node available one driver apple four cores four cores is nothing but four vcpus you can run four tasks you can run four tasks okay now let's go back understand more into transformation so now this is displaying data displaying data partition wise use a glom function then collect collect will display the data so collect is an action collect is an action and similarly you can go with a count count it will give you number of partitions are available four partitions are available glom then count okay 